Too dry here to see really any cloud cover or any thunderstorms, but off to the east of us in our far eastern counties, that's where we have the moisture supply, the fuel to see thunderstorms. And that's what we're looking at. Look at Fort Stockton. You got that blinking polygon there. That is a severe thunderstorm warning, which encompasses Fort Stockton. But you can see the colors there. They got some deep reds and uh, certainly some yellows. This is some very heavy rain. Look at all the lightning that's been just flaring up, likely seeing some hail with this particular thunderstorm, but just uh, starting to push its way into Fort Stockton. All these storms are going to continue to track in a northeasterly direction, so they are not heading towards the El Paso area. But we're dealing with our heat. 94, we have 92 in Las Cruces, 91 in Alamogordo. Look at Sierra Blanca, or I should say Van Horn. At 95, Sierra Blanca is holding at 93, and out there in Deming, Luda County, equally hot at 91 degrees. The winds haven't been much of an issue here in town. We just anticipated some occasional breezes across town for today. But don't forget, Katie Frazier's forecast or their her story tonight in the El Paso National Weather Service here in town compiled the top 10 list of the biggest weather stories over time. And you can go to KBIA.com and you can cast your vote, which do you think was the top stories as well. But Katie Frazier's report will be tonight at 10 o'clock right here on ABC 7. All right, in the meantime, we are going to be dealing with the heat. There is a look at our latest future track computer model. As we roll the model here, you'll notice that we're going to start off lots of sunshine for tomorrow. We're going to watch our eastern counties. You know, maybe portions of Hudspeth County, Culberson County could see a few isolated showers or storms pop up later in the day, later in the afternoon. This is a look at 5 o'clock. You'll notice some of the clouds out there, but the bigger storms will be farther out to the east of us. That's where we have those deep colors, and it's all going to, like they're doing tonight, they're all going to continue to make their way towards the east and the northeast. I think other than a few clouds kind of hanging around, I mean, you'll be able to look on, out towards the east tomorrow and see the tall clouds, see those uh, thunderheads that develop and all that moist air out to the east of us. What we're going to be dealing with is maybe just a few general thunderstorms in our eastern counties, but the farther east you go, the more severe the storms will likely be. Then we got a cold front coming through here on uh, later Thursday. That's going to cool us down. I'm going to kick the winds up a little bit. I don't think any fierce winds. Gust to 35 tomorrow. 30 on Thursday, 25 on Friday as we make our way into next week. I don't think the winds are going to be uh, too much of a deal, big deal. We'll be looking at gusts to about 25 to 30. Rainfall, hard to find. There's zeroed out this month. We are below normal. Uh, three quarters of an inch of rain. We typically don't see a whole lot for the month of May, typically about a half an inch. Here's your forecast. 97 tomorrow, 93 on Thursday. The winds kind of low, moderate range of the windy category. 92 Friday. The weekend looks good. I say good because, yeah, we're going to see the heat, but we're not going to see any strong winds. 98 degrees expected on Sunday. We'll hang out in the 90s, maybe some low-end winds once we head into Monday, Mark. All right, Doppler, thanks.